just go, go that way. Okay. Mike, Chelsea, Tony. I have no idea. Why do they do Walking on the dock of the USS Little Rock. You got the raccoon? Yes. I want to see. Okay, go check. I got multiple leaves. Continuing on. No, I can't. Can I put him in the freezer? No, he's not. He's very quiet. Oh, we got a baby raccoon. She has to take it to the main guy in charge of. She has to like that, rescue it or whatever. Can I see? Yeah, show, show Chelsea, Felina. She hasn't seen it. Like. She's going to leave out and nail Chelsea. Peak. Little peak. He's, he's, he's scared. Small peak. He's in there. Don't treat him here. Oh, he's so cute. Don't record that. <laughs> Too late. Too late. Oh, shit. That's hey. Money. Huh? You know you had to not delete it. Hey. The great U.S. Little Rock. Is he? Okay, let's see. It's not terminal. You move the toy car. What was that? Heard that. You make that noise? A little bit. Something cold. We've been hearing little cute things here and there and here. Yeah. You coming down here for some chow? Yeah, I would say it's chow time. Coffee. Yeah, where's the coffee? Oh, that even got some coffee creamer for you. Okay, you heard that? Yep. You heard that? Some talking. I heard voices. Someone over there? It's just. Follow me. Nah. He was right here. Oh, he was in here? Yeah. He's hungry. Yeah, he was a baby. So we're going to bump into him all throughout this trip. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to investigate and roam at the same time. There he is. There he is right there. Right there. Aww. Careful. There's wildlife. Hey, little he's stuck. Baby. No, he's not stuck. Hey. So that means the beige head. The, the, the mother's probably not far by. Oh, I wish you had a chip. Hey, little buddy. He's not threatening. Awesome picture. Sure he's not sick, make me look sick. No, he's scared. First time I got that close to a wildlife right there. He looks he's like he fell stuck. or something. He doesn't look right. Well, don't do it, Duke's fault. So if he's not ready, he might lunge. Because he's a he's he's cowering in the corner. He is cowering. He's. Baby, he doesn't what know what's going is. on. See, it works. He is a baby. My hey, question is, guy. where's the mother? He's sickly. Looks like he misses his mother. Well, where is she? Though? She's like, like, has if, we had, if we had a pair of gloves, I'd pick him up. Yeah, I would. But I don't know how he's so tired. Well, he was sitting over there. Point A to point B. He's just scared. He has no idea. He's probably playing like. I hear taps. No, this train's over there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you're right. There is taps. The horn. Told you. Somebody's doing the horn, just playing with the stuff. Told you. First time I ever got that close to Well, let's leave him alone. Yeah. He might have fell and hurt himself. 
because he doesn't look. I see when somebody, one animal is not feeling so good. That that looks like he's not feeling he's, so good. He's itty bitty thing. He's too close to some, like sister relation to him. Usually they have like tied. I'm, I'm about to seriously like take my shirt off. I think. All right, we can't have no one getting bitten, scratched, having to go to the hospital. In case he spazzes. He might be just playing cool because he feels cornered. If you get too close, he's liable to start to growl and hiss and kick and spit. So, I think the best thing to do with this oh, guy is... I just name him Jasper. Take you, him home. You can name him Jasper, but we can't take him home. <laughs> Jasper or Ricky? Ricky, Ricky, Jasper. He, he's so ill. Like they put food in here, like Life. something deadly. Yeah. Life looks... Little guy. No, usually animals that are scared are not going to get up on the front. He's he's itty bitty thing. He's itty bitty thrown. Yeah, I know. He's a baby. He could be getting to run. He's dead dog. Oh. Getting to run? Mm hmm. Oh, I think he's sick. Like, really, I think seriously. I think he fell. We won't be able to possibly talk you into giving birth tonight, could we? I don't think so. <laughs> this next clip, Carney asks the spirit that's present in the Vietnam vet, and a voice seems to reply yes. Now, the video I must admit is of very poor quality, but what makes this important is also we have this on an EVP, so the event was registered on two different forms of media, which makes that very important. Well, you want the armed Vietnam vet. You both okay, on this particular night, we broke off into two teams. Now, the other team is Tun's team that actually they call themselves South Buffalo Paranormal. They're trying to get their own paranormal group going, so from time to time we do this and you know, let them go off on their own, under their own banner. Now they were on the USS Sullivan's. The following K2 sequence is what they caught actually during their investigation there. So we get uh, the spirits actually responding on cue with K2. So go ahead and check it out. Can you do that again, please? Try and cut this light off. There, I shut the light off for you. Nobody has a cell phone or anything going off, do they? O'Reilly, or O'Reilly. You are down here with us. Can you make the lights on this K2 meter go off again? Wow, there we go. Okay, can you stop it for a bit? Nope. Can you start it back up again? Can you, can you uh, make the lights go off again, please? See, and that's weird because the, the ghost meter next to it didn't go off at all. <laughs> Riley, come on, buddy. That is you down here. Can you make the lights on this K2 meter go off again? 
this point in the investigation, we were in the chow hall. Now, we heard something go down a flight of stairs that led to the Korean part of the museum part of the ship. Of course, we took pursuit right away. We went down into there, and there was no way anything could have escaped as fast as we made it down there. Now, that's significant enough. But as we go to leave to investigate the uh, sound of something going down those stairs, we get a VVP that seems to say, focus. Go ahead and check this out. That's all. Okay, that's significant. It's coming from right over by them stairs. Is there somebody over there? Huh? Zach, uh, Zach, uh, Carney, whatever your name is, grab this. Who knows? Significant It's all over here in the thing. Yeah, that was, that was close. That was somebody walking through. Hello? There's one going down here with us. Yeah, it did. That was someone walking down. Watch your language. Is there anybody here? I heard somebody walking down the stairs. I did too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my purse. Oh, okay, just so stick here. That was definitely someone going downstairs. There's nobody here. I think we're gonna go down here. But let's wait for Chelsea to appear. That was cool. Hello? Are you the person that we just heard walking down the stairs? Yeah, we're going down there. We're just chasing something. Yeah, we're definitely on a move. Korean warm museum. Some guys sleeping over there uh, and then their bunks. Yeah, there's no one over here sleeping that I know. Of. Yeah. That's gotta be Chelsea's eye. I mean, Lena and Zay. Hey! Hello? Hey, wait, were you, are you guys walking up and down the stairs? Yeah, we just came downstairs. Oh. Oh, oh come oh, on. I right. thought <laughs> we were getting something good. Oh, no, okay. you know, we like, heard 15 you. Minutes, like, how, how long ago? Not long, there? we just came down here on a chase. We, we thought we heard something come down oh, these stairs. Wait. Just wait, a few minutes ago. How many times have you come down here? We just came down. Just now. Just now. You oh, okay. You, so you could have heard. You could have heard us being in that one room. Or the, no, somebody the came down these no, stairs. We were sitting in the uh, the galley, and, and we heard. So we came right down no, here. No, that's what happened, and we were up there. No, it was down out. here. Yeah, it was here. It was literally these stairs. Well, Something came like down here. Covering the muscle, I guess. Huh? Are we, we're going covering the muscle. We're gonna go right on ahead. Yeah. Did you get the EMF? No, we got a video camera. Video camera running? Yeah. Okay. See, this is, this is a new way now to shoot films. So Should be interesting. If you, if you don't feel like going down, you can just go. <laughs> All right, yeah, go this. on. Okay. So, are you going to see that? Oh, yeah. Huh? Uh, I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's in a guide bag. You can find it. What are you looking for? The EMF detector. Oh. Here. I'm okay. right. Huh? Okay, I'll stop it and go get there. EMF detector. What was that? I heard that real heavy thud. It was like thumb. Yeah. Jesus. And there was something back there moving around and stuff. You know there's a room that has Area 51 on it that's top secret? Unless they found something here. He's making noise. 
It's not. It's a raccoon. <laughs> He's awake. What's out? I'm going to take him up to the end. Tell us what this is going to be. There's definitely nothing wrong with just Operation. Operation Ricky. Ricky. Moving on upstairs on the USS Pearl Rock. If anybody here wishes to um, follow us, feel free. Okay, now this clip we were all investigating the bridge of the USS Little Rock. Now, an anomaly appears right below Kearney. Now, I'm not saying it's spirit, I'm not saying it's paranormal, which is why I'm calling it an anomaly. It's just something that was unusual, but I really didn't feel comfortable throwing it completely out. So I'm going to put it out there for you to get a look at and see what you might think. It's possible it was some kind of light reflection. It's also possible it could have been some kind of dust, but I'm including it just in case it was something paranormal. So it's kind of cool. It kind of goes from corner to corner at the bottom. So go ahead and check this out and see what you think. I hear what this or not. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Hurry up and eat that. Oh, there's batteries. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to occasionally stop and uh, do some uh, questions and answers with the K2s and stuff. Not hear that. It's a huge. Let's go see. see if, let's go see if anyone was in the bathroom. Oh, I heard yeah, a, there are men's yeah, I know, but I literally heard a pretty good, pretty significant movement from down here. Is there anybody down here? Hello. Let's go see if anyone's in there. I'm not taking my camera in the bathroom. I have to send Carney in there. Ship. Go check out the uh, men's room, Carney. Is there legit a person down here? Hello? I can't go in there because I Hello? Is there anybody in here? Because I heard that solid. Is he in here? It sounded like someone was going, like, literally moving around down here, with, like, in one of these areas. Well, there's here. a bedroom back here where the guys are sleeping. Yeah, but it's early for that. No, they, they, no they're, they're trading me out now. Like, someone will sleep and then... The group will be upstairs, and then they'll go downstairs to sleep, and then they'll come back upstairs. That's what we gotta try and find out. Cause I heard that noise from right down here. We gotta see if we bump into anybody. Well, they're closer towards the women's bathroom. Is there anybody in here? It's locked. This is kind of odd. Hello. Did you guys hear something moving? Nobody's moved in the Okay, because I definitely heard something. Oopsies. Sounds like it was light. Yeah. Anybody down here with us? Hello. Hello. Sorry, just investigating. Okay, go that way. Where? Oh, Straight just forward. Or yeah, we bumped into somebody sleeping or whatever the case is. We keep going. This way. Right. <laughs> Were you moving around a little bit? 
just down this way and then back again. Maybe. You've heard that? No, that's probably 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, yeah. Pretty close. Okay. This concludes another episode of Western Door Paranormal and another really, really great investigation. Anytime you get to do a case like the USS Little Rock or the USS Sullivan's, it's a wonderful opportunity. It's an opportunity to learn a lot about history. And it's also an opportunity to study the paranormal. Now this time, we actually had a lot of personal experiences and a lot of things we actually did manage to get on tape. We got some EVPs, we got some VVPs, and we had the thing uh, that we followed down the stairs into the Korean Museum. And we even had a brush with a baby raccoon. So I'm really glad you enjoyed this particular episode of Western Door Paranormal. Now, what I'm going to showcase now is the EVPs that we caught. And after that, we're going to show you a pretty good gallery of some photos that I feel are very interesting to say the least. They're all orb shots, but they're orbs that I categorize as pretty good orbs. So go ahead, sit back, enjoy the EVPs, and enjoy the photos. And remember, you can check me out on Facebook. Just like Western Door Paranormal, and you'll be able to see everything that we put up on there because it improves every day. So go ahead and check that out, and uh, thank you for watching our show. Now this first EVP, we get a clip. It sounds like something saying, ow, ow, twice. We really can't make out exactly what this is, but we definitely didn't hear that when we were investigating. Check it out. Now this following clip is interesting. We get what sounds like a dog's loud bark. Now I don't even know if there was animals on board this ship at the time it was in service. And there certainly was no animals like that on the time during the investigation. So go ahead and give this a listen. Okay, this next EVP took place in the event where we were investigating in the chow hall and we heard something go down the stairs heading toward the um, North Korea museum area. Now we of course went to go investigate what was going down the stairs and what you're going to hear in this clip is something telling us to focus. Go ahead and give this a listen. Okay, this final EVP, you're going to be hearing Mike Carney doing a question and answer session. He's going to ask if uh, the spirit there was a Vietnam vet. Now, we're going to hear what I believe to be a yes. It's kind of faint, but it's there. So let's see what you think. Give it a listen. Vietnam vet. Vietnam vet. Vietnam vet. Vietnam vet. Vietnam vet.